Yo, what's going on guys? Gone for you again with a squad view I've been waiting to bring you for ages. This time we've got uh, pretty much a great version of team... Uh, it's not team of the year, but um, it's probably the best team at the moment you can get on the game. Um, it's all from the same league as the Spanish league. It's, I don't know how to explain It's not team of the year, but it's got a lot of team of the year players in it, as you can already see. With some, with Orange Kaka, the best, one of the best players in his position as well. Um, yeah, so anyway, we'll start off with Casillas. Team of the year Casillas. Brilliant player, paid almost 400k for him. Uh, 94 diving, 90 handling, 99 reflexes, 92 positioning. Absolute brilliant player. Uh, best keeper I've ever used, obviously. Best player on stats. Um, I don't know what to say about him, really. He's just amazing. He pulls off some crazy acrobatic skills as well. Um, just an all-round amazing keeper, lads. Make sure if you're ever going for a Spanish league, you've got the money. If there's no one else you want, it's Casillas. He is just unreal. Uh, we got the 87, uh, Sergio Ramos. Picked him up for 400k. Centre-back version. I know there's, a, there's another right-back version of him as well, but um, I've gone for the centre-back version. Um, 85 pace. Let's have a look at those. 95 heading, amazing. 89 defending, 80 dribbling. So, brilliant for a centre-back. One problem. As you'll see from when I show you in the in-game stats, he gets caught out a lot of the field where he's got high attacking work rate and only medium defensive work rate. So it can be very annoying. But other than that, can't really knock Sergio. He's rapid. He's known all around a lot of the team as possibly the best uh, centre-back on the game, contender with Thiago Silva. They're both as good as each other. I, I did prefer Thiago, but um, Sergio is brilliant as well. I've liked him. Come across to Pepe. Probably the best centre back you can get because of his pace. You can't really go for a team of the year PK or Puyo because they're very very slow. It can get it can be very annoying. Pepe's quick, does the job with uh, as you can see 75 pace, so it's decent. Uh, 86 defended and 84 heading. He's not the best. He does get caught out a lot where he's also got high attacking work rate, and uh, it can be annoying. But uh, yeah, he does the job. Pepe. I haven't really got a bad thing to say about him other than he can be a bit slow. And sluggish, but um, yeah, so far this defense has been okay. Not the best defense I've had, but it's been decent. Marcelo again, high high attacking work rate, low defensive work rate, so it's annoying. Gets caught up the pitch a lot. But uh, 89 pace, 84 shooting, 80 passing, 85 dribbling, 78 defending. Good player going forward. Can get caught out a lot at the back. Can be annoying, but uh, you know that's just what Marcelo is like in real life. Probably the best left back in this division, in this for this team. So uh, I've gone for Marcelo. Come across the other side. I've already really gone over Danny Alves, team of the year. Uh, high defense, high attacking work rate, low defensive work rate. Again, could be annoying. Uh, 98 pace. You just have a look at those. 90 dribbling, 85 defending. Does more attacking than defending, really though. Danny Alves. Um, got an amazing cross also got four star skills which is just quality you can do the chop you can do other skills as well that other defenders can do so uh, yep yeah, Danny Alves is brilliant uh, Fabregas what can I say about Fabregas yeah, I love him he's, he's quality he gets stuck in he helps out at the back um, picked him up for about 300k it was a bargain really because he's been one of the best midfielders I've used 75 pace not the fastest but uh, just, just right for a midfield centre mid I think 87 shooting, 90 passing, 86 dribbling, uh, 80 heading. I've loved Fabregas so far. He's done the job. He helps out so much at the back. So he's like he's like a CDM really. But um, he also gets forward as well. So it's, it's very handy. Come over to Iniesta, team of the year. Funny enough, his 95 has got more pace and I think at one better shot than his, than his team of the year version, which I don't know how that makes any sense. But... I've gone for the team of the year one anyway, just because it's, it's the best, it's the more updated one. It's the team of the year one. But, um, yeah, I picked him up for 640,000, so he's quite expensive. 80 pace, 85 shooting, 97 passing, 99 dribbling. Those those stats are just unreal. You can go, you can ch go check out his in-game stats at the end of this video as well, which I've got. But um, I, I wouldn't say he's the best midfielder in this midfield, but... Um, yeah, he's, he's, he's so far he's been quite decent in Iniesta. Likes to have a bang all the time. It does drop to him quite a lot, obviously because he's in the centre. And um, yeah, he's been quite decent in Iniesta so far. I, I have I have liked him. 
Uh, come over to Kaka. Love Kaka, the best midfielder in this midfield. I'm so biased with Kaka because I just I've I've always loved him. Always loved Kaka, and he's just he's just brilliant. Man of the match card. 580 grand I paid for him. Captain from my last team, as most of you already know. Don't really need to go over him again. You know already know his stats. Nightwind dribbling, just brilliant, all around brilliant. If you haven't seen my last review, go check it out. That includes Kaka. But um, yeah, don't really need to go over him much. We've got the 94 Ronaldo. Now I've gone for the 94 Ronaldo because the 96. Three reasons. My mate had the 96. I've had the 96 before as well. Uh, this is the the more the the newer team of the week version. He was team of the week, not this week, last week. And also, I've saved the extra couple of hundred K coins I've got, and I'm going to do a pack opening video. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for that. I'll be bringing that out soon with all the extra coins I've got. So, basically, I've just done a few lot, really. I'm going to bring out another video with the coins I've kept from Fink, because he was 100. How much was he? How much did I pay for him? Yeah, I paid 125K for him, and the team of the year version was 108, was 1,800,000. So, I've saved quite a lot of coins on it. I've also had the 96 before and there's not much difference at all lads. Um, this Ronaldo, what can I say, 94 pace, 95 shooting, 96 dribbling, probably the best attacking player in this team, he's just unreal. People already know about how good Ronaldo is. I've got his in-game stats at the end lads, so just double check, just make sure you check that out, keep watching. But um, yeah, Ronaldo is agility and when you just do bursts of acceleration, there's no catching him, he's so strong on the ball as well. I've loved Ronaldo so far quality player come on to Messi um, Messi 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 picked him up for 1,669,99 99 pace 97 shooting 90 passing 99 dribbling and poor heading and poor defending really but that's just Messi wait till you check out his in-game stats at the end just they're amazing one problem with Messi extremely weak as everyone already knows one tug Messi's gone on the floor that's the one problem. If Messi was strong, it, the guy would be unstoppable. He would be, be like Ronaldo, really, unstoppable. Because if Ronaldo was a striker, everyone knows Ronaldo would be better because he's a lot stronger on the ball. But he has been good, Messi, for me. But he's got a really weak... He's got a really bad weak foot, which can be... Eh, oh, it's so frustrating. And he misses on his right side all the time. So you've got to get on Messi's left side every time. And it can be quite frustrating. And he's very weak. So there is two downfalls. But other than that, he, he's, been, he's been pretty good. He does not miss a finesse. He does not miss a one-on-one -on, -one on his left foot. So, other than that, other than him being weak and getting cut out a lot on his right side and can't finish, he's brilliant. But um, keep, go and have a look at his in-game stats at the end. I think you'll be interested. Anyway, we got Di Maria. I've, I've, I've actually enjoyed using Di Maria. A lot of people might say, why didn't you get Jesus Navas? This guy is on the right side with a left foot. As you can see, preferred foot left. Very cheap, 150k. Um, what else can I say about him? His, his agility is just amazing. Bursts of pace, and he's just rapid down that wing. Um, he's got an amazing cross. 91 pace, 8 shooting, 88 passing, 89 dribbling. Brilliant player. He also helps and gets back a lot as well, Di Maria. He's got high defensive work rate, so I have enjoyed using Di Maria so far. But um, I did first try to go with his team in a 4 and 2 and 2, and it didn't work, so I tried it in a 4-3-2-1. It's worked a lot better in this formation. So uh, if you're going to go with this, lads, go with this. I wouldn't really go with a 4-3-3 three, three, because with this formation, the um, Ronaldo and Di Maria are more strikers instead of they're, they're not as fat out wide. So um, I would definitely go with this formation, lads. This team is just... It's been... <clears throat> I, well, I haven't really enjoyed it as much as like my Premiership teams. So I'm a biased person. I love, the, I love Premiership teams. I've always stuck with Premiership teams. I've only changed teams to just to uh, entertain you guys but um i'm gonna go back to my premiership team i can't wait for the premiership team of the year so i can do that i'm also going to be taking da -da -da -da. i'm also going to be taking like um if you've got any suggestions for what team of the year you want me to do when it comes out because they're going to be bringing out club team of the years i'll do one of them for you lads so um yeah also i'll be doing my pack opening video tomorrow and i'll be my i'm thinking about doing a giveaway because i'm so grateful for the subs i've got so far <coughs> Sorry about that. So um, make sure you stay subscribed. And uh, I'll leave you with the in-game stats next. Thanks a lot anyway, guys. I'm out. Um, just a quick update before I show you the uh, in-game stats as well, lads. The reason I haven't included goals in this is because I've only had this team for one day. And I'm changing tomorrow now because it's team of the week, as most of you already know. 
and I will be probably getting Carlos Tevez if he goes in form. So um, I've only I'm I'm gonna put most of these players up tonight, and I haven't really got any decent goals to show you because it seems I've only had it for one day. I've scored some okay ones, but I don't think they're good enough to put in. But um, I will be including goals on all of my next teams as I'll have them for a lot longer than this. But uh, yeah, so anyway, guys. Yo, so uh, into the in-game stats of some of these. We'll kick off with Casillas. With a 90-foot goal, keeping diving, so that's amazing. 90 handling, 92 positioning, and 98 reflexes. Absolute pop. Yeah, he is the best goalkeeper on the game. Uh, it does show, it says like 89, but really, I don't know why it does this. In, it is the actual team of the year, Casillas, but it seems to show as if it's their, their stats from in a normal game. I don't know why it does this. So it says he's 89 here, but really, he's the team of the year version. All my players are, but um, it just seems to do that. But anyway, he's also got the 97 stamina, so that helps. 83 reactions, 81 jumping, um, and he got acrobatic style, save style. So um, yeah, brilliant keeper. We got, we'll go on to Pepe. Uh, 89 marking, 87 head and accuracy, 93 side tackle, 91 standing tackle. High attack and work rate, high defensive work rate. Even though high attack and work rate is very annoying because they get cut out so much on the halfway line. And that seems to be a problem with Pepe and Sergio, as we'll show you now, because they both got high defensive work rate. And it, it can be a, f a fail because they get cut out on the halfway line so much. But, um, yeah, funny enough, he's got two star, <laughs> two star skill moves. I, I think they've all got it, I'm not sure. A three star weak foot, uh, 93 stamina, 85 jumping, 86 reactions, and 99 aggression, which is brilliant. 91 interception. Uh, Sergio. You can just press pause and have a look at some of these stats, lads. But um, 95 head and accuracy, 92 marking, 89 side tackle, 85 skill pass, 94 stand tackle, with high attacking work rate again, and medium defensive work rate, which I don't see how it works out at the team he's a centre back. Even though look, on here it says he's a right back again, but he is the team of the year centre back version. I don't know why it does it in game, but don't be fooled. It is the actual players I'm showing you. Um, but yeah, medium defensive work rate when he's a centre back, it doesn't. I do seem to get caught out a lot as well. It's very annoying. But um, yeah, three star skills, uh, three star weak foot, um, 90 agility, which is amazing for a centre back. 99 jumping, amazing. 93 stamina. Press pause now. Have a look through some of these stats if you want, lads. But um, we'll move on. 93 aggression, 95 interceptions, which is brilliant again for a centre back. We'll move on to Fabregas. 95 ball control, brilliant. Uh, with 93 finishing, ac free kick accuracy, sorry. 95 long pass, 94 long shots, 97 penalties, 95 short pass, 87 shot power, 91 volleys. Brilliant player, Fabregas. I do do like him so much, as I've already said. Um, high, high, is it high? Yeah, high attacking work rate and medium defensive work rate, which is decent for a centre mid. Uh, 92 reactions, 91 stamina. 93 vision, 95 ball control. Oh, I've already read them out, sorry, lads. Yeah, but um, 88 attacking positioning as well. So, brilliant player, Fabregas. Do like him. Move on to Team of the Year, Iniesta. Look at these stats 99 ball control, 93 crossings, 98 curve, 99 dribbling, 91 finishing, 99 long pa long, yeah, long pass, 94 long shots, 99 short power, shot, short pass, sorry, bloody hell, 91 volleys with. High attacking work rate and medium defensive work rate, which is great for Iniesta because that's just how he plays. He's more attacking than defensive, as you already know. Four star weak foot, four star skill moves. Brilliant player, Iniesta. With. Oh, yeah, he's also got 89 attacking position, which is always good for in the box and stuff. Two, uh, orange Kaka, man of the match Kaka. Look at these stats 97 ball control, 90 curve, 94 dribbling, uh, 97 penalties, 99. Sure pass, he's just a brilliant player, Kaka, I love him, so 94 volleys, uh, high attacking work rate, low defensive work rate, which can be a bit of a pain considering he's a centre mid, but um, four star skill moves, as everyone already knows, with a four star weak foot, um, 83 acceleration, 88 eight agility, 94 stamina, 82 attack positioning, 86 vision, brilliant player, Kaka, lads, you can have another look for those stats if you uh if you want, just press pause on him. Uh, Di Maria, 
another great player. I've actually loved this guy so far since he's been on my team. Other than being extremely weak, he's, he's just he's all around brilliant. Look at some of these: 95 crossing, 92 dribbling, 90 shot pass, 91 shot power. His acceleration must be crazy as well. High defensive work rate, Di Maria. There we go, lads. Just a little tip off you. He gets back a lot, Di Maria. Bit of a terrible weak foot can be a bit of a pain, but um, he's on he's on the right side to cut in anyway, so he doesn't really need to use his weak foot. But uh, four star skill moves. Um, yeah, 92 acceleration, 95 agility, which is just brilliant. 93 sprint speed, 90 stamina. Amazing. 82 attack positioning. Cristiano Ronaldo, lad. We've all probably been waiting to see him. Have a look at some of these. 99 ball control, 91 crossing, 97 curve, 98 dribbling, 99 finishing, 96 free kick accuracy, 91 head and accuracy, 99 long shots, 96 penalties, 90 short pass, 99 shot power. Just all around brilliant player, man. Love him. Five star skill moves, four star weak foot, high attack and work rate. 92 acceleration, 98 agility, 98 jump in, as you already know, he's unreal in the box. 97 sprint speed, 95 stamina, 88 attacking positioning and 81 vi vision. Cristiano Ronaldo, absolute brilliant player, lads. Now, 98 Messi, have another look at some of these. 99 ball control, 99 curve, 99 dribbling, just 99 finishing, 99 everything, really. 93 free kick accuracy, 99 long shots. 98 penalties, 99 short power, short pass, sorry, 92 shot power, um, and 99 volleys, brilliant, medium defensive work rate, so not low, because he does actually help him get back, and high attacking work rate with a three star weak foot, which could be a pain, because he does miss on his right side all the time, and it's frustrating, and what else, yeah, we got uh, the four star skill moves, um, also, 99 acceleration, 99 agility, 99 balance, 99 reactions, 99 sprint speed, and 93 stamina. You're not going to find another player on this game with more 99 than Messi. He is just brilliant. But anyway, there we go, lads. I've let, I've showed you through some of these, the majority of these in-game stats. Hope you enjoy. Make sure to subscribe. I'm going to be bringing you lo tons more teams with the Team of the Year teams coming out very soon. So make sure to like, comment, and subscri subscribe. I'll be back soon. I'm out. Peace.